so yeah the day has come um, really we've just been fiddling around really haven't given you anything to view properly apart from a pretty cool Virgin B engine which I never thought I'd own to be honest uh, it's always been a bit of a dream I still don't fully know what the full plan is but we make it up as we go um, yeah, I got a bit of a plan got a bit of a dream but whether we make it but the day has come today is the day that I get my best mate out the, the, the sort of this is the guy, the guy that sorts any problems in my life. Um, yeah, so we're going to be cutting. Um, yeah, anything in my way is getting cut. Um, pretty much. I mean, Jack, Jack, uh, yeah, Jack the Lodwick. If you, anyone's, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll we'll save that for another day. I, I, <laughs> I won't get him in trouble yet. Um, Jack, Jack's a good lad, but he's up to he's up to all sorts of that. Jack, he's a good lad. We'll we'll save that conversation for another day and won't humiliate him too much. So uh, he's not here to defend himself today. So, um, oh, he just sent me a message. And I was, oh Jesus Christ, he's on about buying another car and he's on about buying a now he wants to buy an RX7 or RX8. I said, don't bother, don't bother. I uh, told him to buy a BM Estate and then he can have a bit of room in the back foot, you know, but uh, he's he's just some boy, some boy. Anyway, he's not here to defend himself, so we're going to get cut in. Um, I'll run you through what's going to happen here. And uh, Jack hasn't had time to measure, but tough. He's got a brain, he can work backwards. I'm just getting on with the grinder, so crack on. So yeah, just a, a quick one before I do start going absolutely mad with a grinder. Um, to be fair, we've only got Bill the Bosch out today. You know, Bosch, hint hint, we could do with a new one, but yeah, she still works. Um, so yeah, I'm just literally going to cut cut this centre bar out here to allow me to be able to position the chassis up and down and move the engine up and down and fiddle around. Um, at the moment... Um, I haven't decided yet, but at the moment I'm going to be leaving this section here um, just purely because I want to have something to hang the engine off but that might all change I might get a bit happy with the grinder and start chopping everything, so let's we'll see how we go um, yeah I do like my grinder remember kids safety first <laughs> I will admit, that's uh, the first time I've had a grinder disc come at me, and I'll be honest, the first time I've worn a mask, and my bum did go a bit. So we've come so far, um, feels like a bit of spring in the metal here, uh, I cut a bit of wider cut in the end just to not trap the blade um, or anything like that, the disc. So there's a little bit left, but I'm hoping my uh, other friend there will solve that, which he has. So this is Joe Lumpy. Uh, well, no, that's not Joe Lumpy. Um, where's Joe Lumpy then? We have a, a very efficient toolbox of uh, hammers. They were good like that. garage um, workshop whatever you want to call it it's absolutely freezing in here frozen um, my kind of 
well, my bottle of apple juice I had last time is frozen. Um, we've upgraded to 199 camera gimbal that seems to want to follow me. If I keep moving, it follows me. 199 bargain. Um, yeah, give it a go. Don't know what I'm doing, but we'll have a go. Um, been shopping. Been shopping. Um, after nearly taking my head off with a cutting disc um, and my old old face all over here giving up the ghost we went shopping um, it was just needs must it'll be handy um, means we can just go mad and start cutting things to bits um, yeah what else have we bought um, yeah, we've we've not had much progress because we've been busy fixing the van. Uh, we had a bit of an off-road excursion in the ice, which wasn't ideal. So, oh, well, this is the other thing we bought. Yeah, don't ask. Um, it's for a sanding belt. So somehow or other. This goes on here, and here, and then there's another roller that sits on there, like so, and you put your tube in here, and uh, clean the tube. Um, spending money I got, pretty standard stuff to be fair. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on and cut some stuff up and go mad with the hammer. So. And hopefully, not chop any fingers or heads off. So, yeah, all's good. Now this is a massive bugbear of mine. You buy a knife because you need a knife to open something. Um, and they put it in packaging that you need a knife to open. It's ridiculous. I wouldn't use my teeth, so it's just stressing me out. I mean, who does that? Makita, obviously. Solved that one. See, that's like one minute of my life that was wasted by needing a knife to open up knife packaging. Ran over. So here we are. Um, this is us. This is what I've been up to. So I haven't done a lot. Been busy with work and been away a little bit and Christmas, obviously, and been making a mess at home in a digger. So um, that's come come to an end now. We've we've put put that, you know all as it should be and that's that's stoned down and compacted down so um i'll pop some pictures of what i've been up to there um <laughs> it's kept me out of out of here so yeah that's kept me busy but that's done now so that's great I had some time off over christmas to get that done um yeah no real progress apart from as you've seen uh just a, just a moment ago i went a bit crazy with a grinder and the recip saw um purely just to make us some space in here so I can start moving around, um, you know, maybe somehow hang the engine. Um, I have had a, a little bit of a play with the front end, which I'll move on to shortly in this video, um, which you'll see. So I've got to run the car on, on XE Works um, front setup, just because John is very helpful. Um, he's always attends meetings. He always carries oodles of spares, um, and his stuff is tried and tested. Uh, ultimately, I'd love to have the money to either either say to John, um, XC Works, or or Russ Extreme Cars, Extreme Race Cars. Sorry, um, here you are. Here's your engine. Here's your your, your running gear. Make me a chassis. But unfortunately, uh, as I've mentioned in the in the past, I don't have that budget. So that's a shame. 
but yeah we'll we'll plod on we'll see what we can make of what we've got so that, that's part of the fun for me as well so yeah i went a bit crazy with the grinder um completely chopped the back end off still need to tidy uh small bits up like down there and and whatnot wait where are we going um yeah and around the, the hoop there there's some bits that i just cut off rough so i need to take take the grinder and and dress them back nicely um that that crossbar needs to come out there's a few things that i want to do really uh it's not a necessity it's just to tidy it all up so yeah we've got some we know how much space we've got now so we can we can start scanning uh, potentially and drawing as well um and and know where we're going however the plot has thickened slightly um but yeah we'll move to that in a bit <laughs> i never sit still unfortunately so time for the body to come off and the shell's got to come off so I can really start attacking it with a recip saw and grinder. Oh, puffing a bit. Yeah, it's hard work on your own. Um, thankfully, I've got a good friend coming who um, doesn't know it yet, but he's going to help me lift it off to put... I quite know where I'm going to put it, to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll work that one out. So we'll put it somewhere safe. Um... But yeah, halfway there, just need to wait for him to come give a hand now. Um, and we can get cutting and bracing and everything that needs doing. So yeah, more on that in a minute. So get the shell off now and uh, run you through what I'm going to do. Just a run through really of, of why I'm wanting to change some of these items. Um, if you look down here, that door bar is like a snake. Bit bendy. Um, main reasons really is, is I don't know if you see there, that's badly cracked. Um, that door bars again cracked. Um, there's quite a few cracks along the way here. So if you're looking up here, um, there's a crack in that bar. Uh, it's actually in the weld of this bar here. Um, and yeah, you, you can't compromise on safety. I know people are building super lightweight cars now, but it just doesn't... Safety is, is paramount. Um, that's not really ideal, is it? Looking at that. So, yeah, we'll get chopping right the way around. Look, um, I think with a good good whack with Joe Lumpy, he'd be out of there. Um, another thing really is, is look at the look at the state on all that. Um, it, it's not on really. So, yeah, we started chopping here, made a right mess of it. Um, got my bearing carriers now, so we'll we'll hopefully one day soon get this on some form of wheels, um, just to get a a track track width. Um, yeah, we'll get get chopping tidily one day. Get the get the hoop out. Um, get a few bars out that have had some damage. And really, just just tidy it up. Make it something usable. Because the majority of the chassis is lovely. It's nicely prepared. It's, it's got a nice cockpit, nice cab, as they refer to it in the trade in the in the autograss world. Um, as I've said previously, a bit of damage down here, right down there. That I'm hoping will will come back. Um, bit of magic working with some heat and dual MP. Um We should be right. So yeah, let's get the grinder out. Bosh. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, as you saw, we've removed the diagonal bar out of it. Um, cut the side brace bar there. I didn't bother with that side yet. Uh, I don't want to go too far until I've started putting some strength, some rigidity into it so I can cut the hoop out um, and the other bars. 
I will be welding, you see that bar is there, I'll weld a bar in across there just to stop it all folding in on itself like a piece of paper. I'll be putting a bar from the beam up to the corner of the pillar there, um, the same for that side. Maybe something left to right as well, maybe cross it, uh, I haven't decided yet, I need to get some steel before I do that. That will stop it, again, folding like a piece of paper. Don't think it will, but um, yeah, you never know. So... Um, that's it for tonight. I'm going to head off home. And yeah, that's that's me. Back in the uh, workshop. Sporting a bit of Valley uh, Sandblasting Services merch. Um, Jack's kindly offered to, to do all our sandblasting and, and preparation stuff um, as a bit of a sponsorship deal. So that's very kind of him. Um, we will be working closely with Jack. Jack is a friend, but he's also set up in business, so that's very kind of him. So we do appreciate that, Jack, because uh, this is going to need sandblasting um, and painting. So he does paint as well. Um, whether we just put it in primer and then I'll do the rest, I don't know yet. So we'll work that out when it comes to it. But um, yeah, so we're in the garage workshop, just about to... Go crazy again um, with a grinder. I'm oh, sorry, it's not a grinder anymore, it's a recip saw, so. We've cracked on um, these braces into the chassis. Just a just a quick job, really. Just a preventative more than anything. Um, I'm slightly blind now. Uh, after dawned on me after putting a cutting disc through the grinding. Uh, sorry, through the welding mask. Um, yeah, why I can't see so. Perhaps a little bit of archive coming on, which isn't, which is never good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've we've put some small braces in there, which means we can. Well, they do anything is another thing, but we can uh, get chopping. So, yeah, I have no idea what you can see because my eyes are bad. Um, yeah, so just put these these here in there, because as we chop these forward bars. Nothing really stopping the chassis from, from folding like a piece of paper. Doubt it would, but uh, yeah. Still preventative rather than cure, isn't it? I think the saying is. So we'll we'll get cut in. Um, yeah, we use our new tool, which is grand, um, for repairing the bars, which awesome bit of, bit of kit, to be honest. So you see it down there. Cleaned off as well as aren't the best, but they'll do. There's only a only a quick spot. There's a better weld. Um, there's some better welds around here somewhere, but yeah, I won't be doing the welding. Let's put it that way. So um, 
Yeah, here you go. Gives you an example of that that belt attachment for the grinder. Pucker. Pucker job. Right, so let's get chopping.